Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. We're on the seafront at Granny's Bay at the moment and I'm just showing you this lovely view on a freezing cold Tuesday the 5th of January. It's the first day that the country's going back into national lockdown and we've just taken a friend of ours <coughs> to an appointment so I'm now going to go and take a little walk around Ansdell while while I'm while I'm passing time. Um and I didn't realise quite how near Ansdell is to the seafront. So I thought, bearing in mind I've parked quite nearby, that we would start there and we would begin this video with a lovely view so you can just see the white church there at the left of shop poking up above the above the houses and that view over the the river ribble and well it's where the river ribble meets the irish sea so exactly where the line is i couldn't tell you but the view at the other side of the river is the southport area and this is the main road what we call the scenic route this is the outer promenade if you ca carry on in that direction, you, you end up in Lytham, eventually. And that way is to St Anne's. So we're going to cross the road and we're going to walk through Ansdell Town Centre. Did you know, let's start off with a did you know fact. Did you know that the tramway once ran across the whole of this area so it, it didn't stop at Blackpool back in the day it would have carried on and it would have come from Squires Gate at Blackpool um, to um, St Anne's, Ansdell and then Lytham I'm just making sure I'm not getting knocked down while I'm crossing this road won't be a good look would it um, and and in, in a second, you'll see the evidence of the tramway in this little lovely tram shelter building. And it's a really attractive and really well-maintained little shelter that was built in 1923, according to that blue plaque that's on it. And in summer, it's all trimmed up and all well maintained and looked after by the Ansdell in Bloom team and when you drive along the main road it looks really pretty it's a little bit worn look but on the on the Visit St Tans website there is actually an article about Ansdell I'll put you the link to it in the in the description below oh there's some signage inside look um, I'll put you a link in the description below and then you can have a look at it and um, find out more about this town and a, a, a friend of ours, Sue, took some photographs in Hansdell one day. There you go, what a lovely little building, isn't that nice? So that's the main road that takes you to Lytham. That's the Fairhaven pub, which is closed at the moment. That's the seafront where we've just come from. And that's the main road back to, back to St Anne's and back to Blackpool. So you'll have to excuse me sounding a little bit, <coughs> a little bit puffed and uh, a little bit runny nosed, but it's very cold. And I've, it's the first time I've been out since, since Christmas. And I can tell I've been sat down for a fortnight because <laughs> I'm puffing like an old man. So this is the direction that we're going to go in and I believe this is Woodlands Road, which is the main, the main road through the centre of, of Ansdell. And this is where all the shops and businesses and... Um, what not are and there's also a train station at 
and still. So that's Fairhaven Methodist Church, this one. But that looks lovely in summer. And as I said, I'm still have a very active in bloom team. And they do all kinds of things in in the the summer when they're looking after the town and planting it up. And again, the, there are some photos on our website. And obviously everything's going to be closed this morning. So... That's why it looks as quiet as it does. Chinese restaurants, hairstylists, pressing engagement. Now then, there's one for you. So Ansdell itself is an old village dating back to the 16 and 1700s. Did you know? And when you look round, you can see the old architecture of the Victorian era in all these beautiful buildings. I love these old big buildings. Really nice. Float room. Not for anybody that suffers from claustrophobia. Make sure we don't get knocked down again. Blue teddy bear, and what they sell. Pictures, I by the look of it. Plenty of beauticians and hairdressers, like there is in every town. So, you might wonder why it's called Ansdell. And it's named after a guy called Richard Ansdell from Liverpool. And he lived in London and built a, a summer house at Star Hills. And this was at the site of the village, which eventually bore his name. So it's named after Richard Ansdell. And he, he loved this area so much that he even called his London home Lytham House. I bet the people in London at the time wondered where Lytham was. Right, we're going to cross the road here because this is the railway station. Now here we go, look, I told you they've got a good in bloom team. Look at the signs on the on the gatepost. I'm still in bloom. Gold medal winners, 2017 and 18. Now then, Hansdell Railway Station. Now St Anne's have an active Friends of the Railway Station community. Um, or oh, somebody else that we're going to come and visit. In fact, I tell you what, we'll take a walk down the. We'll take a walk down to the platform. There's somebody else that we're going to come and visit because they do all kinds of different things and I can see some of their Christmas decorations still up because they've been making their own Christmas decorations which they've put up along the, along the line. So there's a... Goodness me. I used to love travelling by train. It's so one, of, one of the few forms of transport that doesn't make, me, doesn't make me want to be sick. What a beautifully well looked after railway station. That is lovely. There is credit to them. Station, garden and grounds are maintained and cared for by the friends of Anstall and Fairhaven Station. And the beautiful job they've done too. That's lovely. Can't say any other. Yeah. Anyway, going back to my travel sickness. I used to love travelling by train and I've not really travelled by any other form of transport than car since I learnt to drive. That's really nice. Fly. In fact, I think we're going to just take a little intermission and I'm going to take some photographs of this lovely railway station while I'm here because it looks so nice, it looks so pretty. Just two seconds. Right, that's that then. I've got my photographs and I've, I've climbed the stairs and then you didn't need to listen to me. Huffing and puffing like an old man. <coughs> so going back to Richard Anstall, in 1860, he leased a plot of land from the Clifton Estate 
to build star hills um, and the area is known as Ansdells and he sold it in 1873 so there you have it and at Ansdell Library this summer the Ansdell in Bloom team have had a really attractive wicker Richard Ansdell against the side of the <coughs> library which I believe they've only just taken in according to the um, Facebook page which is a shame that we missed that because it did look nice they're going to put it back out next summer to be able to see that again what a lovely little town centre well there's one thing about it all this all this video in business it's um, well number one it's got me out and got me walking and number two it's got me looking at things I've never seen before so it's been really interesting so in, in keeping you amused and entertained I've seen all kinds of different things myself as well what a lovely building Ansdell Institute <coughs> A lovely building, 1909. I'm going to walk to the end of the main road and then I'm going to come back and take some photographs because this road joins Blackpool Road, a, a, a sort of near Fylde Rugby Club when you get to the end of it. So that'll be my exercise for today. And a really interesting video to boot as well. What's that? The little village nursery. Oh, look at that little kitchen, that's lovely. Huh? Co-op. Plenty of space to park your car. Plenty of hairdressers. That looks lovely. Florists. Still got the trimmings up. Oh, I'll tell you something, it's absolutely bitter. It's really cold. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what they've got. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. It's one of those nice gift shops that sells a bit of a bit of everything closed as is everybody wild ginger sun grown and proud there you go I don't qualify for one of them but proud nonetheless post office and the library so that's where the wicker man's been So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a <coughs> give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. And if you've got any questions or any comments, just pop them in the in the comments below, and we'll endeavour to either answer them for you or ask the audience and see if they know the the answer to it. And while we're on while we're on lockdown, in fact, after lockdown's finished will be producing regular videos and going out and about and looking around different places so that we can keep you connected to the foul coast amused and entertained while we're going through this awful virus and then when things get under control we'll be able to start doing interviews and talking to people and visiting places. <coughs> and until then we'll, until then we'll make do with walking about where it's quiet and there's not much. There's not much open, unfortunately. 
I would imagine this is a little bustling place when it's all open and uh, functioning in full full swing. So don't forget to subscribe to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Hit that little bell for notifications and make sure that you're getting alerts when we upload new content because there's lots more to come. We've been plotting and planning and making lists of places where we're going to where we're going to visit. <coughs> so that brings us up to the main road. And I now know where I am. I didn't realise that that was actually the main road down to Langstall. And that across the other side of the road is Fylde Rugby Club. And I can just see some nets, goals, whatever they are. <laughs> not right, not right into rugby. And this is the main road that takes you round the back of St Anne's from kind of Squires Gate Lane in the Cran area down to the side of Ashton Gardens. There you go. And that's the main road. So I hope you've enjoyed this little walking tour of Ansdell. Don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed and you've hit the little bell for notifications. There's lots more, lots more to come as the world comes back to life. We'll see you later. Bye for now.